it's Eric, back here in the bike room with a few thoughts for this edition of PVP Tips on getting your bike to France. So getting yourself to France and you're with your luggage, no big deal. Uh, people do that all the time. The difference you're going to face in going to France next year is that you need to get not only yourself and your luggage, but a rather large bike case. And I'm assuming that most of us don't have bikes that break down or, or somehow fit into a very small case. So I'm assuming that most of us are going to be putting a full-size bike into a bike case and putting that on the plane when you go to France. So a few things to think about. Now, one is that you're probably going to end up paying additional money over and above your plane ticket to get your bike over there. Uh, depending on the air carrier, you're going to be paying maybe for your normal baggage, but you're almost certainly going to be paying to put your bike on the plane. It's a large oversized item and they'll generally charge you for that. The first time I went to PVP in 07, as I recall, Air France put it on for free, uh, then it, it, the cost has gone up. The last time I flew in 2015 with Aer Lingus, I was able to purchase a spot on the plane for my bike ahead of time. And you might want to look at that when you're checking around for prices on airfare as you make your final preparations to get over to France. So the next thing to think about once you get over to France with your bike in that big box is what are you going to do with, with the box? That can be a problem, especially if you plan to be kind of moving around a little bit uh, as you get over there. For instance, my initial plans are to get to France about a week ahead of time, stash my baggage someplace, do some traveling, come back, and then go to the start location, then obviously do the ride, come back, and have some time left after that. So I've got a lot of time in there when I'm not going to be kind of staying in one place. Uh, and the question comes, well, what do I do with, the bike, with my bike box? So there are th a few things you can look into. The train stations in Paris do have luggage storage, but check them out online. You can uh, find the information online pretty easily. The size of baggage that you can store there is somewhat limited to a little less than three feet by three feet not going to be big enough for a typical bike case. There's also uh, kind of baggage B&B &B services now that you can sign up for. You can actually reserve a spot, cost a few euros a day, uh, and I think what you're going to find is you're, put, you're going to a hotel someplace that has a room in the back and they're letting you store your stuff there. So that's something to look into. If you have the ability, if for instance you're going to go over there and stay in an Airbnb and you're renting that for the entire stay, then you're golden. That's what I did last time. Uh, I just put my bike box in the little apartment that I stayed in, left it there the entire time. I had rented that out for my entire stay, including the time that I was riding PVP, and it was obviously there when I got back. Those are just some of the logistical things to think about in dealing with that very big piece of luggage and, and your other luggage as well, especially if you're going to kind of collapse down into maybe a small case or a backpack uh, for some of that kind of extra PVP travel around France that you might be doing. Some things about putting your bike in the case. Now, one thing you have to remember that, you know, we're living in the TSA era and it's likely, or at least possible, that uh, TSA, either in the U.S. or somewhere else, is going to open up your bike box and look and see what's inside. So from that standpoint and from the standpoint of weight, here are a couple things to think about. From the standpoint of weight, uh, I would recommend that when you put your bike and everything into the bike case, that you leave two things out. You leave your pedals and you leave your saddle and seat post. Now, put those in with your regular luggage and it's generally going to be easier to keep that all under the usually 50 pound weight limit. Uh, because if something goes wrong and your bike doesn't get over to France or gets lost in an airport someplace, you'll still have a couple of important things. You'll have a saddle that you've broken in uh, and you'll also have your pedals. 
pedals that are going to go with your shoes. So if you're riding sort of non-standard pedals like uh, Crank Brothers, Egg Beaters or something, you may not be able to find pedals like that in France. Put them in your luggage and they'll be with you and your shoes. You'll have your saddle there. Uh, so you have a bunch of stuff with you that's important in your luggage. Now, of course, that could get lost too, but we're assuming that that will at least get there. Um, and you're keeping the weight of your bike case down as low as possible because it's very easy for that to creep up and exceed the 50 pound limit beyond which most of the carriers are going to charge you a lot more to put that on on the airplane. When you put your bike into the case, and I'm assuming that we're talking about a case like I have, which is a, a hard-sided plastic case, there's a layer of foam, your bike goes in, another layer of foam goes on top of that, then your wheels, another layer of foam, and then the other side of the case. So what I do is go to the hardware store, buy a bunch of big zip ties, and buy some pipe insulation. Pipe insulation is going to go around the tubes on your bike, around the fork legs, and so, and so on, to keep them protected. So you're, in one side of the case, you're going to have your bike and the handlebars. Once that's all done, and you figure out how that goes in, zip tie it all together in that exact configuration. Same thing for your wheels. Your wheels are going to end up in the bike case probably you know, overlapping like so. If you have fenders, uh, I take the fenders and wrap them around the outside of the wheels and then zip tie them so the, the wheels are kind of protecting and giving some strength to the fenders. And then take that whole thing, fenders, wheels, etc., and zip tie it all together. The idea is that if somebody from TSA opens up that bike case and takes that first layer of foam out and they want to look at something, they're going to lift out your wheels as a unit which means they're going to go back in as the unit. If you don't do that, I guarantee you they're not going to be nearly as careful about getting stuff back in carefully as you are. So anything you can do to make their job easier of just lifting stuff up, looking at it and putting it back in a way that ends up exactly like you put it there, uh, you're going to be to the better. When you're packing your bike, one thing to remember is you're going to need all the same tools that you use to disassemble it at home to reassemble it over in France. So any special tools, any specially sized wrenches, Allen keys, Phillips standard screwdrivers, whatever you're going to need, uh, put those in your luggage. Again, you don't want to start loading up your bike box with tools. Uh, put them in your luggage because it's easier to kind of divide that weight among you know, maybe a couple bags, but be sure you bring all that stuff with you. Uh, if you have wiring or anything like that on your bike that's going to need to get uh, taken off and put back over in France, you know, bring some tape, bring small zip ties, whatever you're going to need. So just kind of think ahead that whatever you're doing to put your bike in the case here, you're going to have to do in reverse over there, and all the tools, all the supplies you're going to need over there to be able to get your bike up and ready and uh, in a riding condition. Once you've arrived at the airport over in France, whichever one you're flying into, and you're going to be getting yourself and your bike box and everything uh, to the location, one option uh, that has been available in the past, will probably be available again this year, is the travel agency who is putting together all the arrangements for riders from the USA uh, has arranged for bike transport. So they uh, rent or hire a big uh, truck where everybody meets at the airport at a certain time. All the bike boxes go in the truck and they're all trucked to the same place, which has in the past always been the Campanile Hotel in the Start Town. Uh, if you're not doing that, there's uh, obviously all the ride sharing services. There are taxis. You can s simply find where the taxi station is at the airport look for a taxi driver who has a vehicle big enough to accept that size luggage, tell them where you're going and, and you'll be fine. Uh, you can try getting on public transportation. My experience is that the metro system, in Paris at least, is probably the last place that you want to be going through with a bunch of luggage. It's like the subway in, in any other city. It's really designed for people. It's not designed 
for people who are carrying a bunch of stuff, and especially not a big package like a bike box. So uh, as much as you may want to, you're going to be creating some issues for yourself if you're trying to use public transit as exclusively once you get over to Paris. Now, once you're there, once you're in France and you're at a, whatever location you're going to be at, you're, you're going to want to put your bike together as soon as you can and get out and ride so you can experience the French roads. I'll talk about those a little bit in, in another episode of PVP Tips. Uh, but you'll want to get your bike together, get everything rolling, uh, get it out on the road, make sure that everything is tightened correctly and so on so that you're once you show up for PVP, everything's ready to go. One small thing to think about as you're packing your bike is that if there are any pieces that you even have a suspicion you might need to replace once you get over there, bring them with you. Uh, I'll give you an example. In 2011, the bike I was riding had a seat binder bolt that had a habit of snapping. Uh, so I brought a spare one and I was glad I did because I got over to France and put the bike together. I was tightening down the seat bolt and as it sometimes did, it broke. I had the second one, I put it in, I tightened it more carefully this time and everything was fine. But anything like that that you think uh, you may have an issue with, bring a spare. It's a small thing. You, you are going to find it somewhat difficult actually, especially in Paris, uh, and in, in the outlying locations to find good bike shops in France. I was surprised by that the first time I looked around because you would think in a country like France that values cycling so much you'd have more bike shops but they just aren't there. One good place for obscure parts or for small parts that you may need uh, is the Alex Singer shop. Uh, it's actually in Le Valois which is just kind of outside France or outside Paris. They have a very good supply of spare parts for a whole bunch of different kinds of bikes, so that's a place to look into. Also a great place if you've just never been there and you're all the way over there in Paris, I definitely suggest you stop in there and take a look. It's an amazing place. So those are some quick tips on getting your bike to Paris. I'll have more tips on other things to pack, including in a shortly upcoming episode, what to put in your drop bag, which is something I highly recommend that you prepare and get set up for in order to do the ride in the most comfortable way possible. Thanks, hope to see you again next time on the bike. Just wasn't on the bike today and I wanted to get this video out. So please, if you like these videos, subscribe. If you have any comments or thoughts, put them down in the comment section below. Follow me and uh, I will see you in the next edition. Bye.